what kind of feelings visitors should have when they enter the Kunsthaus Zurich? Well, I think the Kunsthaus Zurich tries to um, present these two sides in a very explicit and I would say nearly simple way. Mm -hmm. um, there is a central hall, which is a sort of a train station in a way. It's a, it's a space that is there for future uh, dynamic use. We imagine that things will happen there, that the museum will stimulate things, mm -hmm. events, music, performances, films projecting, installations. Mm -hmm. um, it's a free space. You can enter from the Heimplatz or you can enter from the, from the garden. You need no ticket. Um, and so this spine is, uh, is a bridge to the public world. And it, it cuts uh, through the more private world of the museum. And either side of this dynamic space, which we imagine will be dynamic, um, is the more conventional world of galleries uh, on the upper two floors. And the, I think uh, these two worlds sort of exist side by side. And I think it also allows another quality which I believe is important in a museum is on the one hand to be able to orientate yourself. So to understand the dimensions of a museum. I mean, it's, I think it's, it's difficult sometimes when you go into a museum, you don't quite know how fast to walk. You don't quite know how much you've got to get through. And that's a stressful thing. And it sh you shouldn't be feeling that. You should, you should feel very comfortable at being uh, you know, absorbed into, into the visit. Um, so you need orientation and you need a sort of sense of dimension, if you, you sort of understand. And that the central hall is the orientation space. You always come back to this. You always understand your visit in relation to that. But when you go into the galleries, there's the other quality, which I think is important, is the, the ability to, to be lost in a way, to be um, subsumed and um, not worry about. You just follow your nose, follow your eyes, follow the view to another painting, to, to another thing. So um, I think those two aspects of, of um, the building describe it quite well. And, it's, and in that sense, it's, it's, it's very obvious. <laughs> you know, the, the orientational, the dynamic, the, the, the more public, and the, the more um, uh, introverted and the calmer and the more private uh, spaces of contemplation and, and, uh, and viewing. <laughs>